My next guest has starred in some of our favourite dramas from Spooks, wasn't that good, to The Stranger and the very naughty Obsession, as well as Stay Close, which is one of Netflix's most watched ever shows. Now, Richard Armitage, well, he's turned his attention to writing with his debut novel, Geneva, and he joins me now. Who knew that there was a writer <laughs> there? Like, a really, this is great. Thank you for reading it. it. Oh, you're I'm kidding? Honest. It's brilliant. That, that is one of the joys of my job when I get a book and I, 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 I had to finish it. I had to finish it. I thought I had it. I thought I had it sussed. I didn't. Oh, well, that's good. Ah, so my twist you, worked you on you. got me. I, I kind of thought, mm, maybe, it's, maybe it's going that way. It's really difficult to talk about it without giving too much away. Yes. But you've written it from the, you know, from the, the, the standpoint of like the two different characters. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Sarah's a, a, a Nobel Prize winning scientist who's lured out of retirement to endorse uh, a controversial neural implant. And her husband goes with her to Geneva to an, to an event, and then she realises that she's at the centre of a nefarious crime. But mm. we're seeing it from both of their points of view. That's why it's so clever. Did you love writing this? I mean, is it something you've always wanted to do? I've always written biography for characters that I've played, and I've sort of scribbled oh, um, extensive notes, but nothing that anyone would ever read. But Audible um, came to me and said, would you like to write something? We think you might have a, an audience for it. And I said, yep, love to. So it started as an audio book yeah. then? It, That's it was never intended to be print. Really? Yeah. It was just going to be a story that you told? Yeah. Wow. So this is a, a sort of delightful surprise. So um, It's fantastic. Yeah. That's a completely different way round. Yes, it's usually the other way around, yeah. It is, but the thing about audiobooks as well, I think especially during COVID, so many people wanted to escape. Yeah. And of course you escape into a book, of course you do. But some, there's something about that as well. You know, you can just lie back and listen. Yeah, and also the they, they asked me, they said, um, we, we want you to write a character for yourself because I was actually focusing on Sarah and they were like, no, you need to make Daniel as, as important as she is. So, right. And because I was re reading it in first person, it was I was uh, paying a lot of attention to the, the words, you know, sure. how it's expressed. If I didn't know that it was you writing, you really get inside her mind. You know, it's, I think sometimes it's quite difficult for men to write a bit women and, and vice versa. Not right. always. Yeah. But you really, you really did. You, you understand women. <laughs> I do. I, l I do, do. do a lot of listening. Yeah. I do a lot of listening. You can tell. I think listening makes you a better, a better writer. Now look, already it's been picked up, and I'm not surprised because it's very cinematic when you read it. It's been picked up to be turned into, is it a movie or a TV series? Do we um, know yet? It, it, we think it's going to be a six-part TV drama and Sony have um, optioned the book, which again is a, another God bless <laughs> surprise, <them. laughs> a, a delightful <laughs> surprise. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to be working on that with them and, and hopefully playing Daniel, if I'm still young enough by the time these things you, get made, because they take so long. Yes, no, you will be. You absolutely will be. Is this the way ahead? Richard, is this the way ahead that you just write books with roles for yourself in? <laughs> because um, that's pretty cool. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I've started a, a second, because the minute I finished it, I just felt like I can't stop. I, I, I was yeah, so addicted to the writing the process. Sure. So I said, can I please write another one? And, they, and Audible said, yep, let's, let's have a second. So well, of course. Different story, but uh, it's, yeah, you get bitten by the bug, as you know. No, I know, and it's, it's just such a, an amazing thing to do. Is it when you, when you get it like that, the book is in your hand? I mean, you know, what does that feel like? I went to the printers to see how the book was made and it was the first time I'd held the hardback in my hand and honestly, my hands were shaking. But seeing the process of yeah. how a book is constructed oh, is incredible. amazing. It? I'll, I'll, never pick up, I'll never take it for granted again when no. I pick up a book. No, it is, it's, it, it, it is fantastic. And for you to do this and already to be working on the, on the second one, but obviously you can have your both careers can go alongside one another. I think so. I mean, I, I realised as I was writing it that I was drawing from all of the experiences I'd had in storytelling. It's all the same thing, whether it's reading someone else's work or working on a long form TV drama where you've got eight, eight episodes or 10 episodes in your head and you're sort of navigating and seeing the show, you know, change sure. and be edited that all of those skills kind of came into the to the writing and actually being a musician helped as well, because there's a rhythm in the writing. Uh -huh. I think that, that you do everything you do. You dance as well. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. It's great, the triple threat. I love it. It's absolutely brilliant. And this is something clearly that you you'll just keep doing. Hopefully, I mean, if listen, they'll let me. 
Harlan Coben says it's outstanding and he knows things. I was, wor <laughs> was working on his show at the time. So it doesn't I, matter. I'm seeing him in New York, so he's going to come and do this with me, which is, oh, which is lovely. He was a bit of a, an unknowing mentor for me when I was writing. I paid right. a lot of attention to his, his work. Well, he knows a thing he or does. two. And is it, do you divide your time? You're like New York and back here, so you... Yeah, a little, like, a little oh. bit of both. I mean, I think um, because I work a lot on British television, when I'm, I, I'm based in London, but then when I go back to New York, I was writing and I have a recording studio there, so I do a lot of the audio books from New York. That was a result of the pandemic. I think a lot of people did yeah. that as well, didn't Everyone they? Everyone learned how to use a microphone exactly. and set themselves up in a wardrobe. Oh, it's brilliant. And obsession, are we getting more obsessions? I think there is going to be another version yeah. of the book. I probably won't be involved. No, but it's, no, uh, no, no, yeah. no. It's quite naughty, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. It was a, a toes on the line. <laughs> it was. It was very, very naughty indeed. But that's fine. That's it's fine. fine. You do it so beautifully. Thank you. It's absolutely <laughs> fine. And as we saw all these rumours about James Bond go around, you'd be a great villain. Thank you Oh, very geez, much. the music. There you are, there. Now, can I just say you look really villainous there? That's that's a shot from obsession. I know it is. I know. But there you could be. I'm not going to say what you're doing. People it. are going to be googling like crazy now, thinking this is real. I think you should be. I think you should be a baddie. But in the meantime, Geneva is out when I see that you're doing it. Gene you know. <laughs> Geneva. I'm not going to say what you're doing because it's naughty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I got into Geneva's out before. on Thursday. On yes. Thursday. Good. I'm going to say good luck with it. You don't need it. Thank you very Trust much. Trust no one, not even yourself. Da, 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 da. And I bet you don't get the twists. It's not just one, there's many, many, many. Thank you so much. It's great to see you. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you. Can't wait to read the next one. Cheers. Bless you.